President Mohamedou Buhari in 2018 declared June 12 as Nigeria's new Democracy Day as part of compensation for the injustice that was done to the winner of the presidential election held on that day in 1993. As part of our June 12 special series, Osarege Obon examines the role played by some of the key actors of the struggle who are now late. June 12, 1993, according to a political school of thought, is the real Democracy Day, when Nigerians came out in mass to vote for a democratic government. Unfortunately, the election was annulled by then-military ruler Ibrahim Babangida. This gave rise to the formation of the Odua People's Congress by Dr. Frederick Faseun and Ghani Adams, and also the role of some leaders who played significant roles in this regard, the late Ghani Fawemi, the late Dr. Bekor Ransom Kuti, also Dr. Ayo Opadoku, Dr. Ulisa Agbakoba, and many more. Plus TV met with the families of some of these late activists to relieve those moments in Nigeria's history. OPC was formed for the greater good of Nigeria. Now, injustice to one is injustice to all. Now, the OPC was actually formed when it was birthed as a result of the June 12 annulment. Everyone knows that um, June 12 started with the IBB annulling the election. And um, that date was significant because that was the date my dad, Ulisa Bakoba, uh, and a few other top senior advocates and uh, human rights activists started the struggle that no, no, no. These leaders left behind legacies that many say will live long after them. My father always told me, Enahoro, gone. This one, gone. One day he will go, that he leaves it to the youth of this country, that if we do not fight for what is ours, what will become of Nigeria? The biggest legacy, in my view, from what I've seen is that Abiola should be recognized as a president who was never allowed to govern. If he was alive, we would have insisted that he be allowed to be sworn in as president. Uh, unfortunately, Abiola did not uh, listen to my father's advice. In celebration of June 12, which has been declared the New Democracy Day, we look at how time has affected the June 12 struggle. When Frederick Sotofasil was there, when he was, he founded the air, uh, he brought everybody together. Oneness, there was a purpose, you know. Now what we have now, I believe we can still go back to the drawing board, those in the of America can go back to the drawing board and look at it. We have a saying in Yoruba land uh, that from the black pot comes white pap. So this is more or less the black pot now. And for him to have recognized, Abila's picture was put amongst all the ex-presidents, was awarded the GCFR, at least that's what the June 12 struggle was about. While the current government enjoyed the accolades of this bold move, there is, however, concern from social commentators that what Abiola stood for are fast disappearing from our polity. Osaugi Ogbawa, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.